Hi there, this is Steve here from Red Chili Audio. Um, I thought uh, today we'd just quickly run through the new range of baritone snail ukuleles. Um, there's actually four in the range, um, and I've brought three here today. The fourth one is actually a left-handed version of this. This one is the S60B. Um, this is a flamed acacia with a gorgeous abalone snail styled uh, inlay. The new uh, way that the bridge with the ebony bridge, ebony fingerboard, you have the great classical machine heads um, with this chrome and orange finish there, high geared machine heads on there as well. We've got exquisite detail that runs all the way down the back with the binding. And um, this is the S60B. Like I say, the left-handed version, obviously this moves across to the other side, but essentially it's identical. Uh, it's also the same price as well, because it's not fair for lefties um, to get penalized compared to the right-handed side. So we tried to make sure that everybody was equal. Um, this is the top of the range, uh, the S60. So if you wanted to go in between that, um, then what you'll find is that we've catered for that with the BH5B, which has a solid spruce top, Gorgeous, again, abalone binding around it. The ebony back and sides, again, with all the grooves that run through it, it's absolutely wonderful. And then you've got the black and chrome machine heads there. And then our starter for the baritones is the SUB M1. This comes from the family of the SUC M1s, M2s, M3s, that sort of thing, which is a laminated mahogany. And it's also glossed uh, all the way around, of course, a laminated top. Um, back and sides and you'll notice that it's got the regular snail uh, closed gear machine heads on there as well. The neck is identical in width as well. There's no real changes on that side but you've got a longer neck obviously as well. Tonally, um, if I just play three chords you get to hear the difference I guess. So they've gone for the high notes uh, on the, uh, the strings here rather than the low that you can sometimes get. You can obviously change those sort of things. Um, but again with that, it kicks through, it's got a punchy sound. Uh, when we move on to the solid spruce, For me, that's slightly louder, slightly brighter, so it's a different sort of tone. It's a bit punchier. The other one's slightly mellow. And then we come to the S60B. So again, it's got a crispness, but it's also got the mellowness underneath. It's sort of in between the two. It's a really subtle sort of tone. Um, the sustain on all of them is, is very similar as well. And I think that's helped by the bridge uh, and the way that the setup's done. Uh, so that's a quick overview uh, of the SUBM1, the BH5B um, and the S60B. I'm Steve from Red Chili Audio. Thanks for watching.